from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, December the 7th, 2022. A Palestinian man opened fire at an IDF post in the West Bank today. The IDF said that following the attempted attack by shooting from a passing vehicle at a military post near the settlement of Ofra, the idea of soldiers who were at the point responded by shooting at the suspect vehicle and began chasing it, writing that during the chase, the suspect noticed the fighters, got out of the vehicle and shot at them. The force returned fire and neutralized the terrorist. The IDF added that the terrorist is suspected of involvement in several attacks in recent days. Second Gentleman Douglas Emhoff led a roundtable discussion today with the heads of Jewish organizations at the White House on the rise in anti-Semitism and efforts to combat hate. The leaders of Orthodox, Conservative, and Reform movements took part in the gathering, including from United Synagogue of Conservative Judaism, the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations, the American Jewish Committee, the Orthodox Union, the Religious Action Center, the Anti-Defamation League, and American Friends of Lubavitch Chabad. Emhoff told the leaders, right now there is an epidemic of hate facing our country. Let me be clear, words matter. People are no longer saying the quiet parts out loud, they are screaming them. Emhoff said, we must not stay silent. Everyone must be against this adding that as long as I have this microphone, I am going to speak out against hate, bigotry, and lies. Holocaust survivor and renowned tailor Stephen Salen has died. Salen tailored clothing for several U.S. presidents, including Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford, for former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, and film director Martin Scorsese, among many others. Salen died on November the 23rd. He was 103 years old. Well, the president of Ukraine, Vladimir Zelensky, and the spirit of Ukraine was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Zelensky, who is Jewish, a comedian turned politician elected to lead Ukraine in 2019, is honored for his actions and country's response to Russia's war against Ukraine. The AP cites Time editor in chief Edward Felsenthal saying the decision to choose Zelensky for this accolade was the most clear cut in memory. For proving, he said, that courage can be as contagious as fear. For stirring people and nations to come together in defense of freedom. For reminding the world of the fragility of democracy and of peace. Vladimir Zelensky and the spirit of Ukraine are Time's 2022 Person of the Year. Time Magazine's Heroes of the Year, by the way, went to the Women of Iran. Turning now to some entertainment news, television nominees for the 28th Annual Critics' Choice Awards were announced yesterday. Among the Jewish nominees, Best Supporting Actress in a Drama Series, Julia Garner for Ozark, who is also nominated in the Best Actress in a Limited Series or Movie Made for Television for Inventing Anna. Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy, Henry Winkler was nominated for Barry, Ben Foster was nominated for Best Actor in a Limited Series or Movie Made for Television for The Survivor, where Foster plays Harry Haft, who boxed to survive Auschwitz. And Israeli television series Tehran received a nomination for Best Foreign Language Series. The film nominees for the Critics' Choice will be announced December the 14th. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, December the 7th. At 7 o'clock, it's Talmud Study. At 7.30, Letty Cotton Pogerbin talks about her book Shanda, a memoir of shame and secrecy with the Hampton Synagogue's Rabbi Avraham Bronstein. At 8, authors Dara Horn and Ruby Namdar talk about the Jewish themes in their writing. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with Rabbi David Wolpe on L'Chaim. At 10, historians Micah Gottlieb and David Sorkin discuss the relevance of German-Jewish philosopher Moses Mendelssohn. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, December the 7th, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.